Hi, so I would like to teach you guys how to use Airtable. So, ang Airtable kasi isa siyang project management tool. Pwede rin siyang parang spreadsheet, no? Um, actually, pag nakita mo yung features niya, ma-overwhelm ka ng konti kasi mukha siyang spreadsheets at the same time mukha siyang project management tool or para siyang Trello. So, once you are signed up, you will see this window here. So, which best describes you, you can um, select I am new to databases kasi you're um, gonna be dealing with a lot of databases um, in this uh, platform. And how would you prefer to get started? So, you guys can select anything here naman. So, let's say I have an existing project or data set that I'd like to import. You can use that. Um, and then, you can use just me muna for now. Tapos, we're gonna use uh, manage a marketing or content calendar. No? Kasi mas realistic siya sa mga activities natin. So, we're gonna click continue. And, um, what would you like to name your workspace? We can try um, VA tools training, for example. And then, you guys can... Um, click create a workspace so wait lang natin siyang mag load ng um, kasi since first time siya maglo load siya ng mga sample uh, bases alright so you guys can actually watch this it's um, welcome uh, to Airtable whether you're opening your own restaurant producing a hit TV series or designing a new clothing line Airtable helps you create anything you can imagine. Unlike a traditional project management system, Airtable lets you connect your information and build the perfect workflow, all in one place. You can organize your information with rich field types, like checkboxes, dropdowns, and drag and drop file attachments. Your projects aren't one dimensional. Your tools shouldn't be either. With Airtable, create different tables for different information and easily connect them as necessary. Focus on the information you need when you need it. Filter, group, and sort to answer questions quickly or get a different perspective. With Airtable, you don't have to compromise to collaborate. Keep your whole team on the same page by creating different views for different needs. Switch seamlessly between grids, calendars, Kanban boards, and galleries to interact with the same information in different ways. You can even collect new information with a custom form. If you want to discuss something with your team, no need to switch apps. Send messages right where the work happens, in Airtable, and any changes that are made are instantly saved and synced across all devices. Supercharge your workflow with blocks, which are like mini apps you can mix and match. Create Gantt charts, custom documents, maps, and org charts, all in Airtable. Ready to get started? Pick one of our ready-to-customize templates, get inspired by the community in Airtable universe, or create something from scratch. What you build is unique, and your tools should be too. Airtable. Create your way. So, um, based on sa short video na yon, you guys will see a lot of features na kaya ng gawin ni Airtable. But unfortunately, for the free users, medyo limited lang yung pwede mo magawa. Halos wala yung mga blocks, yung mga um, pivot table charts, or yung ibang mga features niya hindi available sa sa free accounts. Pero doon sa free accounts, marami ka na actually yung pwedeng magawa doon. So, once you are registered, you will see a sample here and it's actually a guide. So, you guys will have an idea how it works here. Pero, mas okay siguro kung i-demonstrate ko na lang para mas um, maintindihan ninyo. Pero, if you're just signing up, you guys can um, finish etong demo para you will also have an idea na. So, we're gonna start creating and this is a sample template na available sa Airtable. So, you guys can have an idea how you can prepare um, your, your databases or your trackers, for example, your calendars, Kanban board, o kaya yung mga forms ninyo. So, this um, area right here is like your spreadsheet. Just imagine this is like your spreadsheet. And itong nasa right side are additional features like... Um, 
mga timelines, mga charts that you guys can actually add, no? Um, but this is just available sa um, pro account. Okay, so I'm just gonna close this muna so that you will see itong mga column headers na meron tayo dito. So, it's like a spreadsheet but mas marami siyang um, mga features, no? You guys can actually add um, different fields here. Let's say, for example, if you're gonna double-click this header here, okay? If you're gonna double-click that, the, the field name or the field type is single line text. So, ibig sabihin, mag encode ka lang ng kahit na anong um, string or text na short lang. And, meron naman tayo dyang long text naman if ever that you would like to add um, multiple lines na sa mga text. Okay? Ayan. So, may mga field types tayo. Sobrang dami nung field types. Okay? But, etong area na to is actually a primary field. So, it cannot be hidden or moved. The name is meant to be short, unique representation of each record in your table. So we're going to retain this to single line text for now and you guys can click save. And then this one is a category. So sa category naman, you will see a different icon here yung bago yung word na category. So it means that it's a single select or para siyang drop down um, yung function niya. So if you're going to select yung single select, you will have some options here, meron siyang colored options, kung ayaw mo naman na may kulay you can turn that off so pwede mo siyang i-on para mas um, maganda tingnan no? visually appealing so eto namang mga entries na to eto yung mga itatype mo, kung ano man yung gusto mo maging option dun sa drop down menu okay, so you guys can click add an option so later we're gonna try creating from scratch, so you can click save here, but before that you have also an option to alphabetize yung listahan mo ng mga options dyan so we're gonna click save and um, this is your single select column, no? this one naman is a checkbox, no? so it's it's a column with checkboxes so if you enable checkbox here um, you can actually select a style um, like pwede siyang heart, star, um, like button o kaya naman para siyang flag no? so we're gonna use the check mark so this one is may check mark, may check box siya pwede kayo maglagay ng check mark let's say na complete nyo na yung item na yun for example tapos um, this one is my favorite part yung you can actually attach uh, a file, a picture, usually a picture, no, or a document. So, um, let's say yung mga gumagawa ng catalog or content calendar sa social media, pwede mong gamitin tong attachment para makita mo na kaagad kung ano yung um, content na ipopost for your schedule. So, if you're gonna click here, you will see yung actual na file na naka-attach. Okay? Then you can close it here. And, ayan, you can at, you can attach multiple files um, sa, sa Airtable yung sa isang cell lang you can attach multiple files na okay so ayan yung example natin alright and then this one is um, ang field type naman niya is link to clients so you are allowing linking to multiple records no so ang functionality niya is let's say for example ito hearts coffee so, if you're gonna click that, you will have this option here. So, magkakaroon siya ng maraming details. So, parang nag-link ka lang ng mga minor projects no, for that particular field. So, mas detailed siya. You have the name here. Meron siyang attachment and the description and the project details here. Okay? If you guys will notice, um, pwede kang magkaroon ng multiple... Um, multiple links no so kasi pagka-click mo ng cell na to meron pa siyang plus sign dito all right and then for the collaborators naman ito ang field type niya is collaborator kasi you can collaborate with other users no so if you can notice this ano a uh, button here meron siyang share button so you guys can email your um trackers sa iba and they will have access here so you can actually control kung creator ba siya yan yung full access no editor, commenter or read only lang siya para hindi niya magalaw yung um, tracker mo and ayan project team, collaborator pa din sorry 
um, napindot ko lang. And then, meron siya dito yung kick-off date. Yung kick-off date, yung field type niya is um, date. So, kapag date siya, you guys can select the format. If you want yung friendly na format na July, yung word na July talaga, 26-2020 or US format, ISO. So, you guys have that option naman. So, due date, same pa rin. Um, date pa din yung um, ano niya, uh, field type. Then, sa notes, uh, pwede mo siyang lagyan ng um, field type na long text since paragraph yung ilalagay mo. Pero, pwede mong i-enable yung rich text formatting. Ibig sabihin, that includes uh, checklist, hyperlinks, headers, code blocks, and more. So, pwede mong i-bold letter yung mga importanting words. Let's say, for example, um, i-highlight mo yan, tapos pwede mo siyang i-bold letter. Kapag hindi siya naka-rich text format, you will not be able to do that. Okay? So, yan. Isa sa mga feature. And, um, let's say naka-paragraph naka itong format niya sa notes. etong um, row height button na to na um, eto, pinapakita ko. No? Pwede mo i-click yan. This is the short uh, version. Yung row height niya is shorter. Meron tayong medium, meron tayong tall, at meron tayong extra tall. Okay? So, if ever na gusto nyo i-adjust yung row height. Alright? And, ayan. For the task naman, I think this is also connected to um, another record, no? Link to another record siya. Ayan. Okay? And, you have here, ito yung plus uh, icon here. This will enable you to add another field. So, if you want to add another field here, let's say status and then just select the appropriate um, field type for that. So, syempre kapag status yan, mas okay kapag you have options na. So, we can try single select. We can enable colored option. And um, let's say completed. And then you can click here. You can change the color. Or mas okay yan ng green since completed siya. And then you can add option. Pending. And you can turn this to red for example. Okay, and then you can just click save. And magiging status yung title header niya. And at the same time, you will have an option here kung ano man yung status ng record na yun. Okay, so it's visually appealing. And uh, mukha siyang spreadsheet, mukha siyang Excel or Google Sheets. Pero mas marami siyang option sa loob. For free records, um, pwede ka magkaroon ng hanggang 1,200. Um, per ano to ah, per per tab. So, may mga iba't ibang tabs ka. Pwede ka magkaroon ng 1,200 na tab for a free account. Okay? Kung lumampas na ng 1,200, usually for project trackers lang talaga siya. Hindi siya pwede yung pang mabibigat na database. No? Yung iba, gumagawa na lang sila ng additional um, uh, tabs dito. Nasasabi ko sheets kasi para siyang Excel, no? Nung una, hindi ko ma-embrace si Airtable kasi, syempre, loyal tayo kay Microsoft Excel or Google Sheets, no? Uh, pero nung nakita ko yung kaya niyang gawin, marami pala siyang um, functionalities. So, um, if wala man kayo dito sa window na to, if you're gonna click etong icon ng Airtable, um, you will be redirected doon sa unang-unang um, page niya, no? Which is the home page. Tapos, ito yung, ba ito yung workspace mo, etong area na to. And, etong mga boxes na yan are your bases. So, yung kaninang ginagamit natin is the project tracker. Tapos, meron siya dito ang content calendar. Eto mga sample templates lang yan. So, you can find the templates here. No? You can go to templates. And pwede kang mag-browse ng mga uh, categories dito. So, kung gusto mo ng content calendar, click mo lang yung content calendar and you will have an idea kung ano yung content calendar na yon. And this is very useful kasi yung iba, kapag nakita yung content calendar na term, dun sa mga ina-apply nila, nagbabackout na sila. So, just get an idea muna 
before um before ka mag back out no baka kasi mamaya kaya mo naman pala i self study yung skill na yon and you will have a preview here of that template and if you want to use the template you have an option here to use a template or kung ayaw mo naman siyang gamitin pwede mo naman siyang gawing reference lang kasi minsan mas okay pa din yung gumagawa ka ng template mo from scratch so ito yung sample um content calendar and you will have a welcome message here so you will have an idea ano ba yung content calendar so you guys can close this etong blocks na to and you will have here the headline the status sub headline the attachment meron siyang drop down collaborators some dates no and what i like about the the sample templates here is pwede mo na siyang paglaruan, i-explore mo lang para makabisado mo si Airtable. Pwede kang mag-group. So, if you want to click group, tapos, kasi di ba, dire-diretso yung table mo. So, if you want to select a, a field para i-group mo siya, pwede mo i-click yung status. So, once na kinlik mo yung status, it will be group um, according to status. So, eto yung planned na group, eto yung assigned eto yung staging. So, kanina kasi, wala tayong um, grouping. So, if you're gonna cancel this, ayan, di ba, nagahalo-halo yung mga status. So, if ever na gusto mo siyang i-group by table, you can select group. Then, piliin mo lang yung column na gusto mong gamitin for the grouping. So, you can click status here. And, makikita mo na magsasama-sama yung mga planned, assigned, staging, publish, if you want that view, no? So, you can change the uh, grouping. Let's say, for example, you want to change it sa section. Ayan. So, magbabago naman yung view mo. Okay? So, that's an amazing um, feature ni Airtable. You also have an option to filter. So, if you want to filter, let's say, um, status na lang and then um, assigned ayan, so pwede mo rin siyang i-filter kung gusto mo makita yung mga assigned lang okay, so filter staging ayan so para siyang excel na meron siyang auto filter or para siyang slicer din, so you can cancel this and um, meron tayong mga iba pang um, sample views dito but doon sa isa kong video na gagawin, since this is more on the templates I'm gonna teach you guys how to create uh, a template, a basic template from scratch, no? So, this is um, something that you can use for reference lang. And this is actually a content pipeline view. So, if you're gonna click here, pwede mong um, palitan yung view, no? So, ayan, all content by section. mag yung view niya, content assignments. Alright, so according to collaborator naman siya. According to deadline, pwede siyang magmukhang calendar, no? So, para alam mo kung ano yung mga nakaschedule na content. And then, sa right side, you will see the actual content. And you can change the view to visual assets. Ayan. So, para na siyang catalog, no? Ang view niya. And you can click um, the Kanban view. So, para siyang Kanban na nakagroup siya to, according to status. So, meron siyang planned assigned, staging, published, okay? And, eto kasi nakastack siya by status. If you want to change the grouping, let's say by section, ayan, nagbago siya sa likod, no? By author, by status. Okay, so, ayan, maka siyang Kanban board. For the published naman, eto you will see lang lahat ng content na um, na-publish na. Alright? Kasi yan yung mga for social media content calendar. So, I'll create another video um, to show how to create uh, your database or your basis from scratch. Thank you.